Thank God for this morning and thank you for joining us. I'd like us to lift up our voices and thank God this morning. Thank him for being a dependable father, the one upon whom we stand, the one whom we trust, the one whom we love, and the one who loves us equally. Let us thank him this morning. Father, we are so grateful this morning. Thank you, thank you for your Thank you for your love, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for loving We have come to meet you, Father. To recognize you. Say thank you from the depths of our heart that we have gathered once you. Lord, we believe that you speak to us. During this time together, we'll express our love to you. We don't have it, Lord. All the love that we have has come from you. We will recognize the finish. Help us, Lord, how to love us. But it's about oh, Father, I pray. But it's also so that when we go to war, our people love Lord. And we are we out of love. And our strength is being renewed. I love you, oh precious Father. What are we saying? I love my fellow man. And this morning, thank and you. Yes, I love myself. Brand new day and the I end. From the day, oh Lord. Oh, Lord. All we can say is, hello, I keep your name. Thank you, Father, for never failing us. This morning, Father, Thank you for keeping your words to Lord, us. I am feeling your promises to us. In that which, O oh Lord, I hide my right. hand is not hidden before. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Beloved, I'd like us to thank the Lord. And I'll read to us from Isaiah 29. Isaiah 10, verse 27, I'll read from three translations, and we'll thank the Lord using this verse. The Bible says that in that day, their burden will be lifted from, their, from your shoulders, their yoke from your neck. The, the yoke will be broken because you have grown so fat. In the New King James, it says, it shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. And King James says this, and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from off thy neck shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing, amen. I would like us to thank the Lord because he has lifted up, lifted so many burdens off our necks and off our shoulders in this year 2023. There are many things that we entered this year with and that we desire the Lord to take off our shoulders and he has done so. He did so not because we stood or we, we were idle. He, he did that because we took time to invest in the word and grew in the anointing, we grew so fat as one translation says, we grew because of the anointing oil. Another one says we grew because of the anointing. When Once we grew and when we continue to grow in the anointing from within, the yoke that held us captive from without begins to break. Amen. That's how the Lord showed me how we can break yokes and how we can get out of captivity. We don't get out of captivity by saying the anointing breaks the yoke, by thinking that the anointing will come upon the yoke and crush it. No, the anointing grows from within, then the yoke from without breaks in the name of Jesus. And that's yeah. what we experienced this year. As we grew fat in the anointing, the yoke that used to hold us like a small dress, it, be, it, it began to tear, it began to break open. And suddenly most people are completely free, tangibly from the yokes and the captivity that held them. So let's thank the Lord using Isaiah 10 verse 27, that as we grew in the anointing, the yoke break. In, amen. Let us pray. Father, we say thank you this morning. We thank you. We thank, thank you. you. Lord. 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 
Father, quite often when we think about the anointing, breaking the yoke, we think the anointing comes from without and breaks the yoke. Father, we thank you that the anointing comes from within and breaks the yoke without. We thank you that we are no longer held captive or oppressed. And we are no longer held in a small place because the anointing has broken the yoke, oh God. We are so grateful because today we celebrate freedom. In you because of that anointing. We celebrate freedom in you because we have grown so fast from within. And we thank you because in the growth is in progress. Growth continues to take place and challenge the yoke that holds us. But I will say thank you because your word tells us that he who the Son of God makes free is free in Thank you because that scripture is becoming our reality, oh God. Because of the growth that is taking place in God, and we are experiencing it without. Rande kuposti araba soto araba shi araba so zekeni kitezi araba soto araba shi araba so zekeni kitezi araba soto araba shi araba Father, we say thank you. That each of us have grown and increased in the anointing, Lord. Each of us are experiencing freedom from the captivity and from the bondages, from the things that held us in a tight and small place. Father, we thank you because you've taken us to a roomy place. If in the spirit, oh God, we are experiencing freedom and we are experiencing peace that comes with serving you. Father, we thank you. We are so grateful that it has come to pass that in this day the burden has been taken away from off our shoulders. And that the yoke has been put up from the neck, and that the yoke shall be has been destroyed because of the anointing. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, Rasut and the Rebek or Abash and Sarabuti. Thank you, and the Rebek Sut Araba Korobosh Karapo. Thank you, and the Kete Sut Karaba Sita Rebek, Koroboshi Araba Sut Sorobo Sita, the Kiaraba Bakushi Sarababa, Mora Kande. Father, we thank you because it has come to pass. It has come to pass, oh God, that the burdens have been taken away from off our shoulders. We celebrate you this day because it has truly come to pass and the burdens have been taken off our shoulders. It has come to pass that the yoke has been taken off our necks. It has come to us, O oh God, that these yokes, O oh God, have been taken off our necks. And it has come to us that the yokes have been destroyed because of the anointing. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Look at how far you have brought us. Look at where you're taking us to. It has only been you, Father. If it had not been your hand close upon our head, if it had not been you who had been on our side and continues to be on our side, where would we be today? What will our testimonies be? Father, we bless your name. Reki Arabas, Utsurubu, Titarabas, Korabas, Titarabas, Tindirebebebe, Kiarabas, Korabas, Titarabas, Tindirebebesoto. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. 
Amen. We thank the Lord, amen. Every time we think about the anointing, breaking the yoke, always think about it based on the scripture because this is actually the scripture that has been quoted in that manner. The anointing breaks the yoke means that as we grow part in the anointing, the yoke breaks from without because the anointing grows from within amen the anointing does not come on, on doesn't come on top of the yoke and breaks it it breaks as we grow it, it breaks the yoke as we grow from within so if we do not grow from within then we can be sure that the yoke will stay upon us and we'll continue to remain in a small place amen mm -hmm. 2023 the year to manifest we're reflecting, we're taking inventory of how far we have come and thanking the Lord as we move forward with the many themes and new things, the new day that the Lord has brought to us. We don't want to forget where we came from. We want to appreciate him this morning. Our theme text tells us in Romans 8, 18 to 19, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. We have seen some glory, amen. We have, mm -hmm. we thank the Lord. But the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. John 14, 21, he who has, he who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me and he who loves me will be loved by my father and I'll love him and manifest myself to him. The Lord has manifested himself to us and continues to manifest himself to us. So we have come to thank him this morning for staying true to the word that he released to us this year and for giving us the victory that each person on this line and even off this line can say, this is how I have manifested in this year of manifestation. And it has been because of the doing of the Lord. And Father, we have come back to say, thank you. We haven't forgotten that it is because of you. Amen. So before we thank the Lord, I want us to read from 1 Thessalonians 2, 13. The Amplified Classic says, and we also especially thank God continually, continually for this, that when you received the message of God, which you heard from us, you welcome it not as the word of men, men, but as it truly is the word of God, which is effectually at work in you who believe in you believe there is a condition for those who believe exercise its superhuman power in those who adhere to, to and trust in and rely on it what is this saying in context of what we are doing this morning when you received the word the the, the, the theme for the year is not receive it like you're receiving it from men men you welcome it as the word of God, which is effectually at work now in you, in us, for those who believe, amen, for those who have believed the word as the word that came from the Lord, they have seen manifestations. And what is this manifestation? We are seeing the word of God exercising its superhuman power in those who adhere to and trust in and rely on it, amen. So I want us to thank the Lord because the word of God works, amen, and the word of God produces results. Let us pray. And those results are seen through the superhuman power of the word. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And we continue to thank you. And when we receive the message of God, which we heard, Father, we welcome it not as words from men, men, O oh Father, but we welcome it as the word of God. 
which is effectually at work in us because we believe, Father, we believe the word. And this word, oh God, is exercising its human power in us who adhere to it, in us who trust in it, in us who rely on it. Father, we are so grateful because the word of God truly works. The word of God truly works. The word of God produces results. If your God can say, this is the result that I have received because of the word. Continue to receive results because of the word. Father, we thank you. We thank you continually for your word. We thank you for being faithful to that this word produces results. We thank you, Father, for that prepared our minds to receive this word, Father, because we have received it, Father. By human power, the word of God is producing in the lives of those who have adhered to it, in the lives of those who trust in it, those who rely on it. The name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For the superhuman power of the word of God. Thank you for the superhuman power of the word of God. And thank you for the superhuman results as a result of the word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the superhuman power of the word, and we thank God for the superhuman results that the word produces in Jesus' name. It has it produced in the past, it is producing now, and we are thanking God that it will continue to produce for the rest of our lives because we have chosen to adhere to it, we have chosen to trust it, and we have chosen to rely on it in the name of Jesus. So even as we are declaring daily that this is our time, this is our season, we trust that we will see the superhuman power and results of that word in our lives in this season and the seasons ahead. In Jesus' name, amen. Now we're looking forward and praying into those months, trusting and releasing angels, trusting the Lord to release angels to go ahead of us and prepare the way. So as we look at these portions of scriptures, remember to engage and activate the ministry of angels. In the month of June through July, our theme is manifest kingdom honor and our sub theme is honor the gifts within the body of Christ, which we have begun doing already, amen. So we're going to trust the Lord that just like all the other themes manifested in our lives, this theme to manifest in our lives. And as we continue the season of honor, this seed of honor that the Lord has taught us will never depart from our lives because it is a secret to ascending and many great exploits in the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. So we continue to thank the Lord because every word released will not return void. Amen. Hebrews 4, 12 says, for the word that God speaks is alive and full of power, making it active, operative, energizing and effective. It is sharper than any double 
any two-edged sword penetrating to the dividing line of the breath of life, soul, and the immortal spirit, and of joints and marrow, of the deepest parts of our nature, exposing and sifting, and analyzing and judging the very thoughts and purposes of the heart. The Amplified Version is very wordy, amen, but the words are very meaningful. So let's thank God in a nutshell that every word that is being released in this season will not return void. Every word released by everyone that the Lord uses to release will not return void, but it will accomplish the purpose for which it has been released in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we say thank you that when your word speaks, your word is alive, your word is full of power, making it that great energizing and effect, and your word is sharper than any double edge, God, and a great thing to the dividing line of the bread of life, it has flowed, and the immortal spirit, and of joints and marrow, of the deepest parts of our nature, and exposing us. Mm. and analyzing and judging the very thoughts and purposes of the Lord. And I pray that every word released in this season will accomplish the purpose of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you because we are recipients of the benefits of the words received. Father, we thank you that we are beneficiaries of the Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Prokorebe ziarwa proboshita, makroboshinere bebe bebe be, proboshi araba zoto proboshita, mandeke araba zoto proboshi araba basi karabo, ikende kete 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 reke tarabo zoto karaba si araba zoto, niki araba zoto proboshi araba zoto, niki araba proboshi the name of Jesus. 
Oshit Harabaset, Eken Working within and we are seeing the results without. That's a testimony, testimony of everyone in this on this line in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mr. Rushi emphasized that. Now moving forward, we continue to look forward into the months ahead and continue to release angels. We pray that Father, you release angels to go ahead of us in this year in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. we, we said that our sub theme will be that in this season, we're going to finish well and finish strong even as we look forward to August, because you know our, our year, our calendar on this platform is a bit different from the calendar of the world. Going to renew the order is like our new year, but we, want, we don't want to get into that new year with old stuff. We want to complete the assignments that the Lord has given us. That is why we are looking into the gifts in the body of Christ to complete the assignments that we um, we've already started doing, amen. So why do we want to finish well and finish strong? Beloved, this word has been attacked in the lives of many people on the platform. So re let's really take it seriously and trust um, that we will finish well and finish strong, amen. Because one thing the enemy desires for us is that we say we will start but not finish. So in Hebrews 12, one to two, the Bible shows us who Jesus is in light of this word. It says, therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God, amen. In order for us to finish well and finish strong, first off, we need to lay aside the weights, the excesses of life. We should be vision-oriented, purpose-oriented, word-oriented. Anything that comes to cloud and distracts and derail us, this is the time and the season of our lives forever to lay them aside for good. It could be people, it could be things, it could be just something, attitudes, we could let, now is the season to lay those things to rest so that we can begin and complete, you know, the race that we've been called to run. And let's draw inspiration and courage from Jesus Christ because he is the author and finisher. He's not just an author, but he's a finisher. Amen. We know mm -hmm. that himself is Alpha Omega. Alpha, I know we say Alpha and Omega, but it's Alpha Omega. Amen. So they all start and they finish. So we should draw inspiration and courage from them as we run our own race. And whatever we declare that we, start, we want to start, may we finish it for the glory of the Lord. Now in Philippians 2, 5 to 8, it says, in your relationships, with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death 
on the on the cross. Jesus Christ came to die on a cross. He did not come to die through a car accident or through a cattle accident. He came to die on the cross in the most humiliating manner. And he completed that assignment. As humiliating as it was, he completed it. Amen. So what are we saying this morning? Let's start and let's finish. Let's finish well. Let's finish strong. The same enthusiasm that we had when we started should be the same that we finish our race. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Father, we thank you for your words of encouragement. Father, we thank you for your words that have been given us by Rachel. In Philippians 2, we thank you for your words, O Lord, that have been promised to be with us. We thank you for the grace of the Lord to be with us. We thank you for the grace of the Lord to be with us. That we all know who had a privilege to be your father, and we and my dear father, we are, we are determined to finish strong in the name of Jesus. We are determined to finish strong in the name of Jesus. We are determined, oh God, and that is our declaration in the name of Jesus. That is our declaration in the name of Jesus. Father, we and the rebellion here about so terrible, she in the rebellion. Every project that we have started, every project that we have begun, we will finish well in the name of Jesus. In the care of a city, baby, care about to go. Thank you, Father, for a bush in Harabos the day. In the name of Jesus, make for a city, bring that for a bush in the city. The name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I want to read from Isaiah 55, 7 to 9, but our emphasis is on verse 8. He says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. He says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. The emphasis here is verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. Quite often, I have made this mistake as well until during this retreat, the Lord corrected me. So I just thought I should share this 
with us because we just read that let this mind of that is in Christ be also in us. We should have that same mind towards one another. So what is the mind of Christ? The mind of Christ, he has thoughts. He has words. There are certain things about him um, that we, we that he carries. And when we spend time with him, we ought our thoughts ought to be his thoughts and our ways ought to be his ways. So quite often when we pray, sometimes, I don't know if you've been, you find yourself doing this, you say, Father, your thoughts are not my thoughts, your ways are not my ways. And we are insinuating that, you know what, his way higher, you know, his way bigger, there is no way we can figure him out. I hear us, but we are quoting the scripture, but again, we are quoting it out of context. So the Lord opened my eyes to see that this particular quotation was being uh, he was referring when this quotation was made was being was being made in the context of a wicked person. The Lord was saying that the thoughts of this wicked person are not his thoughts, neither are his ways his ways. So it is not about you and I who are kingdom citizens. Why? Because our thoughts need to be his thoughts. Yeah. Our ways need to be his ways. So Amen. to pray and say, Father, your thoughts are not my thoughts and your ways are not my ways. It's like everything you're afraid now has just been watered down. Amen. Amen. So I want us to thank God this morning in line of finishing well and finishing strong that our thoughts are his thoughts. His thoughts are that we start well and finish well. His ways are that he starts well and he finishes well. So we are adapting that his ways and we are adapting his thoughts this morning in the name of Jesus. And we mm. repent for quoting out of, out of context in Jesus' name. Let mm. us pray. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank this you. season we will start well and we will finish well in the name of Jesus. Father, we have delighted Because <laughs> In the Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And in your presence, Father, shall we stay and go for your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Will there be any testimonies? Okay, if not, I do have. 
testimony, but let me just present this as we round up. Please, in the meantime, grab your communing elements so that we will partake together of the Lord's Supper. So here, beloved, I would like to bring this before us. Am I, I think this is supposed to be June, sorry. I would like to bring this before us as we prepare for, as we prepare for um, the altar of manifest, the raising of the altar of manifestation this year. I'm just presenting this as a, um, the thing, some of the key things that we need to start preparing even before the details follow. Amen. So let's remember that it's going to be on a Saturday at uh, Fort Monroe. Here is the address and uh, it's going to be on the 5th. Now it's supposed to be from 10 to 6, but we're going to confirm the time again to us. Amen. We'll confirm this time with the, the necessary corrections. Then remember that brace yourself for 40 days fast, fasting and prayer. You know, this year we wouldn't say that if you can fast, fast, or if you can make it, if you can fast through 40 days, do it. Everybody should be ready to fast for 40 days. Amen. For the past few years, Pastor and I have carried the load of fasting to the end with a few, a very select few. May this year we encourage everybody to fast. You are a beneficiary of, of the altar. So make the necessary and the required sacrifice. Let everybody plan to fast from six to six. That's the time. Unless you have medical issues. Amen. Now let's also plan to make our hotel reservations, transportations, and feedings. Prepare, start preparing your sacrifice for the altar. And again, that is the address. Plan to come with your family. Do not wait for us to go and come. Plan to be there in person and witness what is happening. It shouldn't be 10 years into this journey before you consider coming. You have seen what the altar can do, how your life has been changed, how lives have been transformed because of this. Be present where the action is so that you have a story to tell your generation on how you can bring about results. Invite others invite others and get involved in the planning. It would be nice to show up there and benefit from everything that is happening, but it would be even better to know how the preparations are done to, to make that a reality. For your own growth and spiritual maturation, ask questions. How you know, is this done? What are the things that are being done behind the scenes to make this as powerful as it is? If you ask, you'll get an answer, amen. So I just thought I should bring this before us. Let's keep this in our prayers. And then when next we, I lead morning to you, we'll talk more about it in the name of Jesus. So before we partake of the Lord's Supper this morning, I would like to thank the Lord very much for my daughters. Everybody's moving to the next grade level. You know, um, the twins are moving to second grade. Praise the Lord. I remember how Yahweh read. Uh, located their school for them a few months ago last year and they were able to start school a year early and they made it through beautifully so they are both moving to second grade two people yesterday I just took time to thank God for just summarizing my journey taking two people promoting two people at a time to the next grade and I want to sincerely thank God for the life of Ava who is also moving to the 12th grade. And this is her last year, of course, and she'll be going to college. So I thank God for a triple ascend in my family, in the name of Jesus. Triple ascend. As we round up this season of ascend, that is my testimony, that we have all moved forward. And of course, parents too have moved forward. So we thank God that we are beneficiaries of the educational system here that the Lord has made available to us. Amen. Amen. That being said, I would like for us to thank the Lord. Remember Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. I hope we have our, our comments with us. Father, we thank you for the body and the blood of Jesus. We have come to remember him. We say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are the reason why we are here. You have given us meaning to life. You love. Thank you for your goodness. 
Thank you for your faithfulness. You have taught us how to serve. We are students in your class. Everything that this body, this element represents in the name of Jesus. Every word that has been released this morning, and even as we partake of this bread, we declare that as this bread becomes one with us, the words we have received this morning becomes one with us. That in the future, we will not be able to separate the words that have been released and our lives. Our lives will be the very representation of the word, meaning the word becoming flesh in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We thank God for the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the blood of the new covenant. We thank you for Jesus Christ, who allowed his blood to be shed on our behalf, who poured out his soul, who poured out his life for our sake. Jesus, we say thank you for this blood, because through this blood, our relationship with the Father has been reestablished. That is the reason why we desire communion and fellowship with him daily. We say thank you for this wonderful time of koinonia. We receive every benefit that comes as a result of soaking in your presence daily. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Everybody. Father, we thank you for the close of a new season of a season and the opening of another season. Yes, Lord. We thank you that even though one season has come to an end, the door still remains open. So we can continue to benefit from the things that were activated from that season. Thank you for rounding off the season of ascend, but I decree and I declare that we will forever ascend. Yes, because Lord the mystery of ascent in the name of Jesus. But let's move forward only in the name of Jesus. And as we move forward and begin things, we will finish things in the name of Jesus. That will finish well. And we will honor the gifts in the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen. We share our gifts in the body and we will be honored in the process in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Greetings. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be an abiding us now and forever. Amen. God goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we will join the house of the Lord and ever. Amen. 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 Best and productivity, family. You do Thank the you. same. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone.